Hi guys, it's Anam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now the S4 is one of the most feature-rich smartphones on the market, but I get people asking me, what are these sensors along the top here? Noticeable on the whiter model more so than the black model. But apart from the earpiece and the camera, what do the other sensors do? So in this video, we're going to take a look at what sensors are around the device on the Galaxy S4. Just bring the device in a little bit closer so you can get a feel for the sensors. And beginning on the left hand side of the earpiece, so that particular sensor there, which is an RGB light sensor. It measures a red, green, blue and white intensity of the light source in front of the unit itself. Now this is used for the Samsung Adapt display, such as the automatic brightness, which uh, adjusts the screen brightness according to the light in front of the device. The first sensor towards the right of the ear piece there so that one there with the purple light coming from it is actually the gesture sensor it recognizes the user's hand movements using infrared rays and air gestures like air view are using this sensor and towards the right hand side of this sensor you've got the slightly bigger sensor just there which is a proximity sensor now the proximity sensor works in conjunction with the gesture sensor and recognizes whether or not the mobile phone is located near the user by using the infrared rays as well and is used by features such as direct call those are the three sensors that you can actually see on the handset itself other sensors that are hidden on this unit are the gyroscope sensor which we all know detects a mobile phone orientation based on three axes and then is being used by the smart rotation feature on the handset as you can see it rotates the screen display according to the rotation of the handset itself next up we have the accelerometer it detects a mobile phone movements based on three axes and is used by s health on the walking mate so it measures acceleration but you can kind of fool it just by shaking the device pretty hard and you can see it thinks I'm walking where I'm actually just shaking the device. A geomagnetic sensor is also included. It detects magnetic field intensity based on three axes and is used for compass applications as well as GPS applications like Google Maps and navigation. Moving on to the temperature and humidity sensor. This checks the temperature and humidity levels around the device and is used by comfort level and S health application. But I'm not too sure where this sensor actually is on the handset because the temperature is always higher than what it actually is. It rates it as 29 degrees C but it's definitely not 29 degrees C here. So it makes you wonder if it's picking up its own temperature rather than temperature around the device. Another sensor used for S health is a barometer. It identifies the atmospheric pressure at the user's current location. So it could be used for the comfort level as well as a walking mate as well. And finally, the hall sensor. It's used to recognize whether or not the S view cover is actually closed or not. And I think that hall sensor is somewhere along the inside of this side of the handset just purely because this is where the hinge of the S view cover is and because the S view cover is not magnetized I don't think there's anything along this side of the device that you can actually sense whether or not it's closed or not but do correct me if you actually know where the sensor is so those are the nine sensors around the Samsung Galaxy S4 so you've got the RGB light sensor the gesture sensor the proximity sensor the gyroscope the accelerometer the geomagnetic sensor temperature slash humidity sensor, the barometer and the hall sensor. Nine sensors for the flagship Samsung 2013 feature rich handset. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.